I have a 1927 Underwood typewriter. This thing is beautiful. And for being almost 100 years old, it looks really fantastic. Um, you can see some of the wear on it in terms of there's um, uh, discolored keys, a, a little bit of um, uh, wear on it but they're still in really good condition. We're gonna walk around this typewriter. I'm gonna show you the different elements of it and then do a typing demo. If you wanna see images of this typewriter, you can follow the Etsy link that's in the comments below. Okay, first of all, we have our carriage release and it's gonna be right here. So release the carriage and the bell still sounds really good on it. Also, the margin sets are in the back. You can't really see them, and they're a little rough. They're old, but they are they do work. Um, right here is your ribbon reversal, and it goes back and forth because when you get to the end of your ribbon, it'll get really faint and light. That doesn't mean you need to replace the ribbon. It just means you need to reverse the direction, and you can do that multiple times before it's time to replace the ribbon. And to replace the ribbon, you just unscrew these little cap pieces and pull out the metal spool and you'll have to rewind a new um, ribbon on there. And you can do that just by ordering a universal ribbon. They should, it looks like it's a universal ribbon size, so it should be able just to pop down in there if you wanna use the plastic spools. Or if you wanna continue to use your metal spools, you'll need to take the ribbon off the plastic spools and wind them onto there and then um, screw the caps back on top. Okay, also the color selector is behind the right side ribbon spool. And you can see that there, black goes on top, uh, um, red on the bottom. Um, as you shift, some of the other typewriters we've talked about, the floating shift where the escapement actually moves and you'll see these older ones where the carriage is what moves up and down. Um, also, there's a little button here, and honestly, we're not sure what that is for yet. And then the shift lock is going to be this little metal piece right here. Okay, let's do our typing demo and see how this lovely lady works. That really grabs the paper well. That's nice. Okay. Oops, let's try the back space. I want that. I'm going to try that back space again. Okay, so the... Um, the backspace is a little um, inconsistent. Sometimes it goes back and sometimes it doesn't. So just be aware of that. You'll probably have to pay attention to where it's at. Alrighty. making sure these caps are not on too far. Okay, so I'm gonna let this roll. I'm not gonna redo this video because I want you to see um, if the caps are on too tight, it's not gonna advance the um, ribbon uh, spool. And um, so the ribbon's gonna bunch up on you like it did there for a minute. So 
Um, normally I would redo something like that to make it a little look a little more clean, but I think it's fair for you guys to know that if it does that to you, that's why, and you'll know what to look for. All right, let's keep doing our typing demo. Perfect example. What happened was I noticed it was looking kind of light. That means I had the ribbon going the wrong direction. And um, let me scroll this up. And you can see how light this was. And then I changed the direction of the ribbon. And you can see how dark it is. So um, perfect example of what to look for when you need to change the direction of your ribbon. All right, let's try the red. Okay, this is really pretty. It types so well. So this is, again, great for those who are <clears throat> serious authors who, um, who want something vintage to be able to write on and who can appreciate the, the, um, these old typewriters. This is not a casual typewriter. Again, I would um, not use this for crafts or for kids uh, because it is almost 100 years old but I would um, this was great for those who love to write who collect um, gifts for men gifts for um, a woman who you know is very creative and has her own little she shed area just some ideas for that a lot of our clients are college students this is not what I would recommend for that um, even though it's portable I probably wouldn't carry it around too far um, I would just leave it at home uh, the case is older and does not stay hinged together very well so um, this would be something that needs to stay in place beautiful as a decorative item but it's fully functioning so you can view all the images and um, the price of this on our Etsy site. The link is in the comments below, and I sure appreciate you watching. Thank you again.